I'm gonna let you know. Oh, hi. First, welcome back to Blackjack. I'm gonna let you know it crashed a few minutes in. It didn't get to the actual battle. It just started. Uh, it just had started uh, Black Panther's introduction. So I didn't get that far. However, I am going to restage what I had said. Now, I'm never going to fake a reaction, but sometimes I will restage what I said. You know, I'm going to re do a reenactment. Um, anyway, you may notice that I am not wearing my Batman hat. And that is because I am sick to death of Batman being in death battle. You know, I get it. You know, you like Batman. I like Batman. We all like Batman. But for frickin' heck, just stop already. There are so many other characters. You know, if you want to have Batman again, maybe have it that guy that took over after Bane broke his back. What was his name? Azrael? The, a name I, I know is supposed to be demonic, but which I associate with the cat from the Smurfs. <laughs> That's way before your time, isn't it? I wanted Azrael to be my cat. Hey, stop. Anyway, um, we get it. Everyone likes Batman, and I mean that as a genuine statement. Everyone likes Batman. I mean, there are a few people that don't, but they're weird. I mean, everyone's weird, but y you know what I mean. Anyway, actually, that's all stuff that I didn't say. In the original. <laughs> anyway, okay, let's get going. Um, just no more Batman, okay? There's so many other Batman characters, and you've only had Joker and Bane, right? Uh, you know, have, like, Catwoman, have... Nightwing, any incarnation of Robin, you know, I have Harley Quinn, and for some reason I want to see her against Domino from Pokemon. That would be really interesting, wouldn't it, Theaner? Domino and her darts and her staff and everything, and she, electrifying powers, and she uses no Pokemon, so it would be, you know, I don't want to say fairly even, but it would be, uh, we know her fighting style alone. Anyway. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. Poison Ivy. Talia Al Ghul. Fear some beasts strike fear into the hearts of many. Um, well, sometimes these dragon are. I know everyone wants yeah, to see. mostly fear. And these uh, two superheroes embody the fear of specific mysteries. predators to an extreme. Batman, the genius crime fighter from DC Comics. Yeah, I was gonna and say Black bats Panther, aren't really Royal predators to humans. These waves and I'm boomstick. I mean, and you know, they might land on you and weapons, suck a little blood, but that's only vampires. Find out who would win a death battle. That is some sweet animation there. Before okay, this is Black where it Panther. cut. Before he was Everything? a king, T'Challa was born the prince of Wakanda. Waka, where now? Wakanda is an isolated fictional nation hidden somewhere in Africa. Somewhere. But while Wakanda itself is shrouded in secrecy, T'Challa was anything but isolated. He's been pretty much everywhere, but especially anywhere with a good university. Yeah. After earning Sounds numerous degrees from hey. Harvard, Oxford, Now see, finally, MIT, a good height weight ratio. His Married to Wakanda's Storm. King That's and what I mean. Black Panther had been assassinated. And a new ruler needed to be Isn't that like throne, more money than exists in the world? Again. This would be a test of fortitude, designed to stress T'Challa's bravery, fearlessness, How'd and... How'd they get all this footage from a movie that ain't even out yet? Known as beating the crap out of six super deadly fighters. But you hey, think there are African greys in Wakanda? Brainiac. He could fight too, and he passed with flying colors. Earning the throne and the blessings of Wakanda's guardian deity, Bast, the panther god. But he had to nail okay. some superpowers first. Okay, hey, I remember from the Doctor Doom battle, they said that the panther god of Wakanda recognized Doctor Doom as, like, the, I don't know if it was the only person who could rule the world, but it's like, um, that if Doctor Doom ruled the world, it was the best possible outcome. So it's funny that that same panther god, I'm assuming it's the same panther god, there might be multiple panther gods in Wakanda, come on, would recognize... Come on, bird! 
there. <laughs> Would recognize someone else. So he went through the ritual of the heart-shaped herb. This herb connected T'Challa to the Panther God. That's and a that herb? Link bestowed him numerous a superhuman abilities. Who knew Gendai could turn connect. you into a superhero? Okay, so what's that movie? I gotta know. Human speed, strength, healing, and agility. His senses is also dramatically increased in acuity. Not only can he see in the dark, but his superior vision can even make out infrared and ultraviolet light. So like okay, cat-like reflexes. Does that include um, that it takes him like 20 feet to turn over? Athena! Psychic resistance, I want to hear about that. Powers of a cat? But that's not yes going to play no. in with While that. While cats do have exceptional eyesight, they cannot see infrared or UV light. Though it is a common misconception that they can. Well, just like a cat, they also can can't see in complete darkness. Thanks to his other super I don't think anything can. Specifically, his vastly improved kinesthetic sense. Which but is, Batman uh, can send out signals from his bat something. suit. Kinesthetic senses make up a person's awareness of their own movement, like muscle memory, but in a broader scope. Oh, like I how we can walk up steps without looking at them. Yes. Or when I shoot my shotgun with my eyes closed. No, no. So Black Panther's See, super sen- that's actually something I wanted to rant about, but not. it doesn't have to do with this video. We're taught that we have five senses and that like a sixth sense is like a psychic thing. We have so many more senses than that. Like, I am touching my shoulder without looking at it. See, that's, oh, this Athena did that to me a few weeks ago. It has not healed. Anyway, just so you know, when if you were to get a parrot, I always like to tell people what they're getting into. I am never one to say, don't ever get a parrot. I'm just saying, this is what you can expect. But anyway, it, we have so many senses. Like, I guess right now, I am feeling my arm itching. <laughs> and I am putting my other hand onto it. And thus having a sense of place. Like... Yeah, okay, I can feel Athena on my back, and that's touch, but I can also get her without having to fumble around for her. And, like, our sense of awareness and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling. Move and act without having to think about it too much. He can jump across tree branches and ledges without even looking. Hey, Wiz, how do I become the king of Wakanda? Those powers sound cool as hell. I don't know, Boomstick. Everyone knows you're terrible at keeping secrets. And Wakanda House is one of the biggest secrets in comic book history. You talking about how Black Panther married Storm from the X-Men? I'm talking about Wakanda's enormous reserves of vibranium. Oh yeah, that's the stuff Captain America's indestructible shield is made of. That's right. 10,000 years ago, a large meteorite of vibranium crashed in Wakanda. Hey, Ganondorf, what are you doing here? All to Black Ganondorf, there we go. Lissandra is, is white Ganondorf. Metal ...which can absorb audio and kinetic energy. A single gram sells for 10,000 US dollars. And Wakanda's vibranium mound is estimated to be 10,000 tons. That's over $9 billion. They're rich, super rich. With all that wealth, Wakanda became a techno marvel decades ahead of the rest of the world. Just they were decades? Exploring outer space years before the US and Russia even tried. So, why is this important? Well, as king of Wakanda, T'Challa has unlimited access to all of his country's resources. <laughs> nice. The suit of his nice. doesn't just look cool, it's made of vibranium. The Panther habit is coated in a vibranium microweave mesh. This doesn't just block incoming attacks, it can literally rob them of their momentum. For example, bullets don't bounce off, they stop dead and fall straight down. Their kinetic energy absorbed into the suit. Even the shells from a helicopter mounted minigun can't even phase him. He carries energy daggers, a shield of hardened light, a teleportation device, energy and claws, daggers, what which are made of a special Antarctic version of vibranium called antimetal. Guess why it's called that? Because it can melt other metals. What can this suit do? Well, the vibranium weave does have a limit to how much energy it can So that's the once. thing they talked if about Misty Knight from the Wolverine versus well, Raiden. destructive fact. Raiden. Oh, God! Ah, but don't worry, he's fine! Raiden is the Thunder God. Raiden is the... Leadership, Wakanda has warded off many would-be invaders. Even with Doctor Doom, Namor, and Ulysses Claw charging in, Wakanda Who? was never truly conquered. 
They even stuffed an alien invasion. And hey, nobody's ever ready for one of those. In addition, T'Challa has oh, studied I don't know about every that. major martial art, of which there are about 106. He's considered one of the finest hand-to-hand -hand fighters in the world. Does that mean there are minor martial arts? He's beat the shit out of Captain America, Iron Man, and Daredevil. Hell, he once knocked out Karnak, who's also one of the world's finest martial artists, with just one hit. He Karnak, is incredibly huh? like the, strong and can temple? jump well over 30 city. feet. He can even throw spears through stone walls. Typically, for construction like this, a substantially hard stone would be used, such as granite. With this in mind, T'Challa must have thrown the spear What's hard the enough spear to made of? Is that also a force of over 20,000 pounds per square inch. Woo the guy is literally strong enough to punch your jaw. <laughs> and is said to be faster than a panther. The eighth smartest human alive. Okay, so um, who are the other ones? Um, Hank Pym, Charles Xavier. Um, Iron Man, um, oh god, there's, uh, Mr. Fantastic, but I can't remember, is he, uh, is he Marvel or DC? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, because he's in the Fantastic Four, he's in Marvel. Rustle the Lion and a Crocodile, how tough is a scroll? which can run around 50 miles per hour. All right. He's quick enough to pull a fast one on Wolverine. Whoa, hold on. Did he just take out five X-Men by throwing another X-Man at him? Yes, yes he did. <laughs> nice. However, under that amazing suit, he is still human. Even with the Panther God's power, he's still prone to failure. This has even caused like him to relinquish shirt. those powers in the past. Okay. And like with kinetic energy, the suit can only take so many intensely focused sound blasts before overloading. Still, the Black Panther is badass. He's got and the that's tech, what the got and the country to Terry the wrong. Do you have any children? No. Good, because I would have to kill them too. Ooh. <laughs> Brutal. Out the underworld of Gotham City, one name strikes fear into the hearts of even the most hardened of criminals. The goddamn Batman. Woo! You know who he is, the billionaire Bruce Wayne, and it ain't his first battle to the death. Pretty much, though don't mistake his intentions. Vengeance may sound dramatic and all, but in truth, Batman fights crime in an attempt to save others from suffering the same kind of tragedy he experienced as a child. How noble and ironic, considering he was taught to be a badass by a group called the League of Assassins. Yeah. Well, Favorite meal, like mulligatawny soup. Cat burglar and constantly brings <laughs> Not lobster bat, like in the So he's clearly Lego got a few complicated issues. But let's see what, what he can really degrees? do. What's... Bats is really, what are... really smart and considered one what of the best technicians on Earth. No wonder he's always welcome at the Justice League, even though Almost he doesn't always. have any superpowers at all. Wait, you're not just some guy in a bat costume, are you? Sure, he's intelligent, but he's also incredibly deadly. He was trained to be a ninja who's a master of infiltration and silent takedown, so sounds about right. Bruce has studied every martial art known to man. After perfecting so would that mean even the minor the ones? 18, he was able to quickly learn and master at least 127 of them, including Taekwondo, Muay Thai, Judo, and boxing. It's not every day you can find someone who can literally concerned. take you down in 127 different ways. So I was He's also about touted that. as the world's greatest detective, one. and with good reason. He's like Sherlock Holmes on steroids. He once figured out that an opponent didn't have a tongue just by the way their jaw bounced off his knuckles. There's being a detective, and then there's being Batman. <laughs> and all that's before his handy-dandy utility belt, filled to the brim with all sorts of useful gadgets and gizmos. A lot of which are thanks to his family business, Wayne Enterprises. From steel mills to airlines to record labels, this company does it all. And that means Batman has it all, too. He also According owns Forbes, the Wayne's Daily Planet. This company adds up to 9.2 billion U.S. dollars. With that much cash, he can afford any kind of weapon he wants. Grappling hooks, smoke pellets, cryo and thermite grenades, and of course... The Batarangs. Oh, Originally designed as a boomerang weapon, Wayne eventually molded his Batarangs into custom shurikens, some of which are outfitted with electric shocks, flash bulbs, and explosives. 
And last but not least, don't forget his bat suit. It can resist fire, electricity, and bladed attacks. And it's almost totally bulletproof thanks to a Kevlar vest sewn into it. Plus, his cowl sports night almost infrared and UV vision. But Bats is more than just a tech wizard. This guy bench presses a thousand pounds in his everyday workout. A thousand pounds! Okay. <laughs> when I was in high school gym class, we had to lift, like, not bench press, but just lift off the ground, a um, 100 pounds in order to pass the class. I could get 95, and then after that it was just like, I can't, uh, I, uh. so what they did is they told me it was 95, and then after I lifted it they said, it's 100! However, on the other end of the scale, I could leg press 400 without breaking a sweat. It was so easy, but the teacher didn't want me to do any more. Um, he was like, okay, 400 is going to be the maximum. So I don't know how much I could actually leg press. <laughs> I think I could be 500. He doesn't. The current bench press world record is actually slightly higher at 1,075 pounds. Nice. Solidly placing Wayne at peak human levels. Nice. This idea generally applies to him in pretty much every area. Lifted 1,000 pounds. He's Let's... strong enough to break through walls, rip apart car parts, and pull out prison bars. <laughs> oh my He's God. quick enough to avoid Stop gunfire that. and even Darkseid's nearly unavoidable Omega Beams. In his strongest suits, he's even tough enough to take a hit from <laughs> Superman. God, that yeah, arcs. Bruce ever enters the Olympics, everyone else might as well rage quit. Same difference, really. That's not to say he's invincible. True. Mm. Whenever the Justice League gets in a fight with some big bads, he usually has to keep his distance. And then there's the time he's somewhat got his back. mentally unstable and prone to lashing out. However, he knows this. It's one of the main reasons why he refuses to carry firearms. That's a bummer. Well, Those there was that types of arms. time Maybe where he uh, next time Bane tries insisted, to I have a very moment of all his well. traits, Bruce Wayne's strongest attribute is his sheer unstoppable tenacity. Even yeah. after being drugged by the Joker after days without sleep, put in a straitjacket, locked in a coffin, and buried alive six feet underground, he refused to die. It takes a lot, a lot, to take down the Batman. Batman's indomitable willpower. I'm Batman. All Sorry. right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, no, all not but first. Animals has made me think about eating some with Blue Apron. Mushroom stampede. I think there was a, um, a I think there was a, um, uh, shit. Cowboy Bebop episode about Mushroom Stampede. Welcome to the zoo. There we go. So it's gonna go into the CG? They promised us a CG battle in the intro. To challenge a king is to face the might of his people. I'll give them something to fear. But where did the stuff from the preview come from? Oh well, it's already got pretty good animation. I do love the sprite ones when they're done well. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, can he lift the Batmobile? Hang on, man, I wanna check out the gift shop. You with me? Why do I have feeling the soda machine is gonna get smashed? Oh, wow, nice. Beware, lions. Someone's gonna punch out a lion, aren't they? No, you don't. Oh, both of them are gonna punch out lions. Why are they giving us additional foes here? Are they just making people use their extra equipment? The power of a rhino. 
There's also aquarium, so someone's gonna get a shark, right? Uh, aquarium, there we go. That is a big aquarium! Prepare yourself. I'm prepared for anything. Yep, sharks. Playtime is over. Amateur. Try again. Did you think you were safe? Of course he thinks he's safe. Well, I think Batman never thinks he's safe. It's like a steady line. Whoa! Okay! Batman is two for two. And my rule is law. He's two for two. Whoa! Hopefully it will stay that way. Batman were pretty evenly matched. Both were super geniuses and expert combatants. Well, BP Nobody was punched out a shark faster though. thanks to that superhuman herb. It definitely helped, but alone was not enough to beat the bat. Batman has one Don't you eat that apple? I need that apple. Don't you eat that apple? I need that apple. As far as skills were concerned, neither held a distinct advantage. However, that was not the case when it came to their weapons and armor. That is Long the weakest short, point, isn't it? On the, Batman stumped. On the regular didn't have costume? anything in that belt of his that could get around it. We scoured the comics, movies, TV shows, and more to see if Batman had any possible way of countering the Vibranium. While he's used hundreds of clever gadgets over the years, we were actually very surprised to find that he had no reliable method of getting around armor like that. Take a look at Batman's fight with Bane. He doesn't have armor, but he's physically superior to bats, just like Black Panther is. And what does Batty always do to beat him? Aim for the weak spot. But guess what? Black Panther doesn't have a weak spot. Yeah. It's certainly believable that Wayne had the ability to I remember everyone that, that could Bane's raising his knee. But even if he could, he <laughs> never would wield it in the <laughs> first place <laughs> thanks to his rejection of all firearms. And while his suit can stop a few knives and bullets, it didn't stand a chance against Black Panther's anti-metal claws. In the end, Bruce just waned in comparison to T'Challa. The is Black Panther. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess I can't cheer for Kefka versus Sephiroth just yet. Because, you know, if they're going to keep bringing back Batman, they might as well bring back some other people. I mean, they have brought back other people. You know, they brought back Captain America. Uh, to, you know what I mean. They brought back a few. Th they brought back um, both Wonder Woman and Thor. <laughs> no. Hey. No, I'm trying to pick you up. Ah, <sighs> birds. Anyway. <clears throat> but n not just yet. Okay? I mean, yes, they had Batman and then Sephiroth versus Virgil and then Batman. But, um, you, you know, they're not, they're not going to bring Sephiroth back right away. Anyway, okay, so let's do this. Mewtwo versus Black War Greymon. Let's do that. Come on, Mewtwo hey guys, versus Black War Greymon. Mewtwo versus five. Black War Greymon. So in this episode, click that box right over there. Start a first membership trial. And if you want the fight track, all you gotta do is put the link in the description below. Sounds pretty good. Huh? Whoa. Raven versus Twilight Sparkle? Dang. They're really taking their ponies seriously. Nice. Hey, come here. You're not going to climb the couch. I know what you do on the couch. You bite it and you get it filthy. Anyway, yeah. Raven versus Twilight Sparkle. Dang. <laughs> but see, they, you can do other DC characters. And you can have them without going up against Marvel all the time. Oh my god. Yeah, no more Marvel versus DC for at least half a season, okay? Hopefully, like, three-fourths of a season. Or maybe hopefully the whole season? Huh? May we dream? It's just so predictable. Oh my god. You'll get back here. Okay, you know, we're going off. Um, people in the comments. I'm just going to talk about other battles. Because uh, I don't really have much to say about this one. Um... I think it would come down to if Batman had had anything to counter Vibranium, which they said he doesn't. 
you know, uh, the so he doesn't have anything that vibrates at such a high frequency, as we learn from the Wolverine battle. Yeah, girls. So yeah, I mean, and also you struck him right there, which would be the weakest point, because um, the cape is it's not weak at all. I mean, it's it's pretty strong, but it's not nearly as strong as the rest of his suit. And it's equipped for different things. The cape is kind of more defensive than anything else. Anyway, okay, I'm going to talk about other uh, death battle ideas that I had. I want to see Mewtwo versus Black War Greymon because they're very similar in personality. Specifically, first movie Mewtwo. Okay? Not melding cannons like they did in Mewtwo's battle against Shadow. Um, uh... That was, that was dumb. First movie Mewtwo could have taken him alone, you know? Also, um, they compared it to the wrong lake. Um, I, I think that was based on Crater Lake. <laughs> it even has the island in the middle. Or, yeah, I 